Opera released a new browser today called Opera Neon. It's dubbed as the future of browsers. So I was curious as any other geek and went ahead and downloaded the browser. And this video is going to be my review of the browser and just to see how it, how it works and what's different about it. So the whole browser, I went to the website, it's 60 megabytes download and it's based on the Chromium project. So if you're familiar with Chrome, the engine behind it, it's going to be very familiar to you. So I already have it installed here. I'm just going to open it. And at the moment, I don't want to set it as my default. As you can see, the UI is very slick. It's a circle icon based approach with a navigation bar on the left side. And it's, it looks very slick. And it has a default Omni bar. Omni box for searches, so it defaults to Google search. And then on the left side, you have a couple of buttons, which are a new tab. For if you click on the plus sign, you basically start typing the web URL or a keyword you want to search for. The default is Chrome, so it gives me Chrome when I search for the word Opera. If you click in again, it will open another tab. So I'm just gonna do pen to code. And I'm number two right now, so click on it, and then the website shows up. It renders very fast, just like Chrome. It feels pretty much the same as Chrome in terms of speed and, and the feel, in my opinion. The second tab is for browsers, for music and videos. So if you have any music or video playing, it will end up as an icon in that field. So if I go to YouTube right now, and if I click on the video and have it play, so as it's playing, the browser will recognize it and put this specific tab in the second uh, icon on the left side. So it will know that this is all the medias that are playing right now. And I can pause directly from there. So if you have a lot of videos playing or media playing, it's very easy to organize this way. And if I open the SoundCloud, even though it's not a video, it's just audio, it will also get recognized and then be placed under the media tab. And also I can pause and play directly from there. The third tab is for screenshotting. So let's say I want to take a screenshot of a specific website and a specific part. I can just click on that and then just drag it to the area I want to take a screenshot. And it will be placed in the gallery tab. Here you can see all of your pictures from before and for a very easy um, image uh, organization. And the last one is the download tab, which is uh, for any items you download will be placed here. So it's doing the, it looks very much like a desktop icon, um, desktop feel to the browser. I can minimize it and it goes to the side and I can drag and drop to order it. Now here's a new feature that I really want to show you. It's, let's say I go to Google News website. And then I want to browse websites side by side. So you can, just like uh, if you have Windows, you'll be familiar with this. So you can have two browsers side by side and you can order the sizes and you can browse at the same time. So this is for people who like multitasking. So it's pretty neat. And the other thing I really like is the video picture over picture. So as you can see, if I click on that button, it will create the video player on the side and where you can drag and place it anywhere on the screen. So now I can watch video while browsing at the same time, all from even from different tabs. So I can pause and play directly like that. And then I can resize or play on the actual pop-up box too. So this is very cool. I really, really like this feature. And if you want other settings, it will be under here. It looks very much like Chrome, pretty much the same as Chrome if you are a Chrome user, since this project is based on the Chromium open source project. So you are going to feel right at home if you are coming from Chrome browser. If you're a developer, you should 
find this at home because this is the same dev tool that Chrome uses. So he, if the dev tool is a big thing for you to move, this is the it pretty much is the exact same inspector tools that you're going to expect from the Chrome project. So now a couple of uh, negative things is that I'm not very, as with any new interfaces, I'm not very familiar with it. So it takes time to get used to this new look. But I do like the slick UI. As you can see, if I add more tabs to it, it will automatically uh, make the size scrollable so I can you know, go find my tabs. And this thing is smart, so it'll, the thing that you frequent the most, it will try to order it at the very top. The other thing is that some of these features are not as easily to be discovered, like the side-by-side -side browsing and the picture-in-picture -picture, uh, feature. I had to like actually poke around to figure out how to do it. So it, even though this is uh, experimental right now, it's really good for what it is. And browsing-wise, it's smooth and fast it's, since it's using the same engine as the Chrome browser is using. So you should feel right at home. I really enjoyed my experience so far with Opera Neon and if you want to try it you should go to their website right here and download it for your operating system they have version for Mac and Windows so I highly